today we're going to talk about electronegativity and bond polarity. So for an ionic bond, it's a metal atom with a non-metal atom. So say you have NaCl, which is table salt. So for Na, you ha it has two electrons in, in its first energy level, eight electrons in its second energy level, and one electron in its third energy level. And for Cl, it has two electrons in its first energy level, eight again in its second energy level, and this time it has seven in its third energy level. So Cl wants a filled outer shell, so it wants eight electrons in its outer shell. And Na is able to give up this electron in its third energy level. So it will give its electron to Cl. So you will then get NaCl, which is an ionic bond. And so now we'll do a covalent bond example. So a covalent bond would be CH4. So for hydrogen, it only has the one electron in its first energy level. For carbon, it has two electrons in its first energy level and four electrons in its second energy level. So for this, hydrogen does not cannot give up this electron because then it's orbital will be empty. So they need to share electrons. So this electron is going to be shared with this electron. And the other H's, the other three H's, are going to do the same thing. This will be shared with this. This one will be shared with this one. And this electron will be shared with this one. So you get a covalent bond that looks like this. So now, you can also use the electronegativities of your elements to find out if the bond is ionic or covalent. So we have an electronegativity chart here, and our first example is the CO bond. So you go to your electronegativity chart, and you see that C is 2.5 and O is 3.5. So for your CO bond, you have 2.5 minus 3.5, which gives you 1. And to, for, so for the electronegativities, for covalent bond, your difference between the electronegativities, if it is in the range of 0 to 1.7, your bond is covalent. Therefore, the CO bond is a covalent bond. Our next example will be the bond between Ca and Br. So you go back to your electronegativity chart, 
and you see that CA is 1.3 and BR is 2.8. So you have CABR is 1.0 minus 2.8, which gives you 1.8. And for your ionic bonds, if the electronegativities range from 1.8 and up, then it is an ionic bond. So this is 1.8, therefore CABr is an ionic bond. Hopefully this helped you with electronegativities and bond polarity.